Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, sorry about last week, I didn't post because of finals and things, but all of that went well and moving went really well and I am back home, which is so exciting. So um, today's video is gonna be um, all of my books that I've read that I've really enjoyed or that have started to read and there's a majority, there's a big chunk of them that I've started to read but I haven't finished. But anyway, so my relationship with reading, I want to jump into first. Um, so my relationship was, I hated books, I hated reading. It was really hard for me to read. Um, and I finally learned the value of knowledge and reading. I think I posted an Instagram post about this. It's, you know, I finally found love in knowledge and reading and all that other good stuff. Um, so, with that being said, um, the one of my favorite um, things about this process of learning to read more is, or enjoying reading, is to actually read. And I've noticed it's helped me in my studies as I have enjoyed learning how to love knowledge and learning how to work with that. Um, so... Anyway, let's jump into different books that I have read. I don't have all of them with me because most of them I got from the library. But here's a big chunk of them. Um, but, yeah, so um, they won't be organized at all. Um, but, anyway, let's jump right into it. So the first book I really like is The Four Agreements. It's a very, very short book. It's probably this much. Um, and it's a Toltec, The Four Agreements wisdom book. And it's by Don Miguel Ruiz. And it looks like that. I don't know if... Yeah. It looks like that. Um, but I really love this book. It talks about four different, um, like, things, principles that you should live by. Um, I can't think of them off the top of my head, but they're really good principles. Um, a... I would highly recommend that one if you're looking for a self-help book. And most of these books are self-help books. So, um, yeah. The next book, the second book that I really enjoy, again, I don't have a picture, is The um, Seven Habits for Highly Effective People. Um, this book is really helpful. Again, it talks about um, principles and habits that will help you in... Um, becoming more effective as a human being. I personally didn't actually read the highly effective thing by Stephen, or highly effective people by Stephen R. Covey. I read this book, but the teen one, um, I believe it's by Sean Covey, the teen one, um, which is Stephen Covey's son. Um, but yeah, the seven habits of highly effective teens or highly effective people the principles are the same, it's just more directed towards teens in the teenage one, but yes, I would highly recommend, any of their books are really good, um, they just talk about ways to, um, yeah, be better, highly recommend. Um, the next kind of self-help book that I really like, and I actually haven't finished this one, um, I had to return to the library, I had like 200 pages left. Um, so I'll be getting it from my local library here back home, but um, it's Essentialism by Greg McNone, McConan. I don't know how you say that. Um, but this book is such a good book. Um, I would highly recommend. If I were to recommend any book to someone, it would be this book. Um, this book kind of teaches all the principles that... Um, all in one in a very simple way um how to reduce less the pursuit the disciplined pursuit of less this can apply to your personal um academic uh, and business careers um so many different aspects of your life your family life i highly recommend this book it basically just talks about um what's essential in your life as you can see like I love the cover because it's like, this is what our life is like, kind of a mess sometimes. And then essentialism um, makes it more clear for us to untangle those little um, strings. So, yeah. 
the next book I read in high school, or I read in my first year of college, and I have a lot of notes. Um, this book I actually listened to most of the time, or I listened to most of it. But um, it's called The Coddling of the American Mind, How Good Intentions and Bad Ideas Are Setting Up a Generation for Failure. And it's by Greg um, Lukanoff and Jonathan Hadati. Um, I ripped it, so I kept the book, and I liked it so much. Um, so, um, I would highly recommend this book. It's, um, basically just talking about, it's very applicable to college life. Um, yeah, it's a really good book. It also talks about, um, some trauma things that, um, yeah, it talks about all these different things. Um, yeah, anyway, I would highly recommend Coddling of the American Mind if you're interested in, um, uh, the next generation, um, how rates of depression and anxiety are rising, um, how politically our next generation's looking, um, this book is for parents, teachers, college students, and anyone who's confused about growing divisions within American society. So I would highly recommend this book. Um, it's a good read. The next book that I would recommend um, that I really enjoyed was Eat for Life by Dr. Joel Furman. Um, it was a really good book. It's the Breakthrough Nutrition Rich Program for Longevity, Disease Reversal, and Sustained Weight Loss. Um, yeah, so I really like this book. It does have a meal plan in the back, um, which I didn't ever look, but there's a lot of science in the actual book um, and statistics, which is really nice, and some um, people that have changed their diet to, I think it's nutritarianism, or nu nu nutritarianism, I think that's what it's called. Um, but yeah, it talks about different chronic diseases and how it can, how this diet can help, and it has some scientific backup so I would really recommend that one if you're looking for a nutrition book um and you're looking into a plant-based lifestyle highly recommend this um it talks a lot about nutrient des density which is a really important topic if you're not familiar with it I would highly recommend looking up nutrient density um but yeah this is a good book for nutrition um, the next book that I would recommend for, like, the nutrition and health-wise of things is, I actually just read this one. Um, I got it from the library, so I don't have it, but it's called The Blue Zones. I read the second edition, Nine Lessons for Living Longer, from people who have lived the longest. If you haven't heard of The Blue Zones, they have a Netflix series, which I would highly recommend watching. Um, but the book is really good as well, because they have extra stories and uh, more of the uh, evidence backed up, and yeah. So, um, it's by David, Dan Buettner. Um, highly recommend this book. Again, if you don't want to read it, I would highly recommend watching the Netflix, um, documentary series. I think it's like nine episodes. Anyway, so they go through each blue zone and they talk about their principles in that blue zone that was really helpful, um, that is linked to longevity. So I would highly recommend this one. It's really good. Um, another one with the health side of things that I read um, up at college, and, and again, I got it from the library, um, it's called No More Periods, The Risk of Menstrual Suppression and Other Cutting-Edge Issues About Hormones and Women's Health. It's by Suman, Susan Rocco, and um, I would, again, highly recommend this. It looks just like that. Um, sorry, the picture is kind of blurry, but... Um, it basically talks about, obviously, the risk of menstrual suppression and um, other hormones. Um, it goes a lot into the science of things, so if you're not interested in, you know, it's a very technical book, um, but it also, like, does it in a way that is easy to understand. Um, but, yeah, it was a really interesting read, and I got to learn more about the hormones that interact in our body, so very interesting read. Um, the next one I actually have not finished reading. Um, I started reading it last semester and totally, I just kind of lost interest and found interest in the Eat for Life. Um, but it's called Conscious Breathing 
And I read the first, probably the half of it, and it was really helpful. And it's changed the way I work out, um, the way I breathe when I work out. Um, disp- discover the power of your breath. Um, I will be finishing this one. It's a really good read so far. Um, so if you're interested in, you know, your breath and how it's connected to all parts of your body, um, let's see. All literally, it talks about all the different parts that your breath has in connection to. So, highly recommend this one. Um, on to done with the four ones. Um, a more of a actually um, some other two books that I haven't finished reading, um, but I have read most of is um, if you're interested in regenerative over have a let me re say that. If you're interested in regenerative agriculture, I would highly recommend Dirt to Soil. Um, it's a really good book. Um, it talks about, um, I used to be very interested. I used to want to go into agriculture. Now I'm more into nutrition. But um, they're tied linkly, or they're tied closely together with each other. Um, so I would highly recommend this book. It talks about different regenerative ecosystems, um, soil health, um, Um, building the next future, will work on my farm, you know, profit, and all that good stuff. So if you're interested in regenerative agriculture, um, I would highly recommend it. It's by Gabe Brown, Dirt to Soil. Um, And then this last book, um, I've read different sections of it that have applied to me, and it's called Equine Assistant Mental Health for Healing Trauma. Um, I've always wanted to help people with horses, so this was a really good read if you're interested in that. Um, It talks about different, and it's like a workbook almost. Um, It talks about different types of trauma and how you can help, how horses can help with that. Um, Adult trauma, childhood trauma, um, different sections, family trauma. It's a really good book so far. It is very technical, very small print, but it's really good. It's by Kay Sudukum Trotter and Jennifer N. Baggerly. I don't know how to say that, but if you're interested in equine assisted mental health for healing trauma, I would highly recommend this. Um, I'm looking into going to something like this with part of my career, so very interesting. And then the last book um, is actually a fictional book. I know none of these were fictional books, but that's not the type of books that I enjoy. But I really did enjoy this one. Um, The type of books I enjoy is, uh, what is it? Uh, What's it called? Um, I like self-help books, health books, um, something where I'm learning something. But um, I really enjoyed... The Hiding Place. I read this in high school. Um, We could pick whatever book we wanted to read. And it's by Corey Ten Boone. And there's a lot of great uh, messages and principles in this book of how to stay positive in a awful situation. I have a ton of dog ears on these pages because I loved it so much. Um, But it talks about um, this woman's experience in concentration camps and during the Holocaust. And how she got through it. So I would highly recommend this book. Um, I've used this so I've used these her experiences to and applied them to my life, which is really helpful. So historical fiction or historical books, um, bibliographies are really interesting to me. So it's by Corey Ted Boone. Highly recommend. And then the last book, um, which I know I said that one was the last book, but this is a book I read every single day, and I'll be right back. So I can't not mention it because I read it every single day, and that is my scriptures. Um, So they have been loved very much, Um, but I just love reading my scriptures. It really does help um, in my life and it applies to me. So whatever religious sect you may be or affiliations that you have, um, this is all of, this is um, Old Testament and the New Testament, the Book of Mormon and the Pearl of Great Price. Um, So the Holy Bible and the Doctrine and Covenants. 
So I personally really, really love my scriptures. Um, it's something for me that helps um, in any situation of life. So um, whatever religious, um, go read your religious text. And I actually want to start reading other religious texts because I think it's important to... Um, I think there's good principles and good messages in every type of um, religion, religious text. So I think I'm going to start reading some other religious texts so that I can um, use those in my everyday life. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you got some ideas for, um, you know, books that you want to read or some inspiration to start reading. Um, again, this journey of becoming a reader <laughs> per se has been a long one, but it has been so worth it. And I totally would recommend it to anyone just to start reading, find different books that you like. Um, I tried so long reading fictional books. I don't like them. I like more, I like real life books where I'm learning things and other things like that. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you next week in a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would highly recommend subscribing. I come out with new content every week about sustainability, minimalism, and self-help. So, see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.